What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a ranked Miraidon team for Regulation G. Now, by the time this video goes live, Regulation G rank will be already out. But I'm actually recording this a day before, so we are still on the casual ladder. But trust me, guys, this team is built for rank. Rent the code is in the top right hand corner. So if you guys want to rent it, hold on to it for a little bit, use it for rank. I understand this team is fire it definitely is but this team has a lot of different options with it starting off with me right on in that top right hand corner with hadron engine and the assault vest as item making him bulkier on the special defensive side furthermore this thing has electro drift it's signature move and it's got overheat for coverage it also has volt switch for pivoting out and last but not least dragon meter big time stab damage we love me right on always hitting hard in its electric terrain other Pokemon on today's team features Fluttermane. Can't go wrong with that with the booster energy and protosynthesis. We have Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. Great big time combo that can just, you know, take over games. And then the last two Pokemon are going to be Hearth Flame Ogre Pine and Defiant Annihilate. So this team has a lot of different counters to a lot of different things. You got the bulky Don Dozo Tatsugiri combo. You got Defiant Annihilate to deal with Intimidate spam. You got Ogre Pine, who's just solid. And also, you got Terrain Control with Miraidon. The only thing that we don't really have is Weather, but a lot of these Pokemon thrive out in certain weather so really solid team all around like i said if you guys want to run the team for yourself rental code is at top right hand corner but without further ado let's hop into our first match showcasing this miride on ranked team first match is coming at you guys and we're going up against a shadow rider calyrex team now shadow rider calyrex you're going to be seeing all across the rank ladder so you better get used to it especially a team similar to this where it has incineroar roll boom also rocking Frigarep, Urshu, and Tornadus. Tornadus and Calyrex gonna be best buddies for a little bit now. Obviously because Tailwind can make it out speed and that thing's hitting like a truck regardless. But from here, a nice little lead of ours could be, could be me a ride on right here alongside with Flutterman, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, you do have booster energy and speed, which is great. So we might actually need you just to be able to taunt and kind of do things that way. Or even icy one. So I am gonna end up going into Fluttermane, who I like. So Fluttermane's going to be our lead here. I could also bring in you. If I want to, you do have the Soul Vest, which is nice, and I think I am gonna end up doing that. I mean, if you choose to end up going for like a fake out user, I mean that's okay. I mean you'll just fake out me right on. But I mean I I think we should be fine here. So I'm gonna go into me ride on alongside with Fluttermane, and then in the back end. If we just go Annihilate with Choice Scarf, are you Final Gambit? I actually didn't really read your moves. You are Final Gambit. That could be good. With a Choice Scarf, we love that. We love that. We might want to honestly lead you. I'm going to lead him. Yeah, I like a good old Final Gambit Annihilate. I love a good Final Gambit Annihilate. Can't be faked out. We can just Final Gambit. Hopefully just take out. So if they want to lead Intimidate users, that's fine. Plus, we do have Annihilate. Maybe we should have led you right on. Because just having like the presence of Annihilate makes Intimidate users like kind of just back off for a little bit. But maybe they'll lead it and then we'll just have a Choice Scarf Annihilate plus one on attack. That could be good news. That could definitely be good news. But I can always just dump on the any Pokemon that I want with Final Gambit. We're going to see Furigraph and Calyrex come out here, which I don't mind too much. I mean, I kind of mind. I mean, I can Ice Human here and outspeed, which is good news. He probably thinks he can just outspeed me, but you can't. But you can't because I'm going to Ice Human and I'm going to rip into your Calyrex. So I'm going to double down the Calyrex. You could pop Trick Room, which is an option. That is an option. But I'm going to say you don't, actually. I'm going to definitely say you don't. And I'm just going to do this. And I'm just going to go into a Rage Fist, which I kind of hope that it KOs. Honestly, I don't know if it does KO. Let me be honest here. You know, we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. Maybe I should have taunted the Fur Graph, but we're just going to attack. Rage Fist might not KO, which could be tough news. It could be tough news. Calyrex kind of annoying. He's just going to withdraw Calyrex. Okay. So Calyrex with the withdraw. Are you popping Trick Room? You're making me think you are popping Trick Room with this swap here. There's a swap. We don't waste the tarot. We are choice now into Rage Fist. And Icy Wind's going to fly here. So Icy Wind out and about. Not bad. Chipping up a little bit of damage. Speed's going to be dropping. I would think Frigraph would, would be going for Trick Room. So this Icy Wind might not be too good. Rage Fist falling behind. Only at 50 base power, and it's chunking up a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. And there's a Trick Room. So you're making me want to hard swap my, uh, my Annihilate, let's be honest here. And actually just take Terrain Control, which would not to be bad. Which would not be bad. I'm going to leave you on the field for a little bit, and honestly, let's just protect you. Let's just protect you, and honestly, we could just keep attacking. Let Rage Fist build up and just waste out some Trick Room turns. 
I think that's our best bet. Let's just waste out Trick and here. Frigraph's gonna protect. That's totally fine. Same thing with my Fluttermane. Again, let's just waste out these Trick and So, in no rush. They don't have like a big Pokemon like Ice Rider Calyrex on the field where it's just doing massive amount of damage into into my Pokemon. So I think we're safe to just kind of just keep attacking them. So Rage Fist gonna fly. We're choice into it. Not bad. Chipping up a little bit more damage every single time. And again, from here, I can just swap terrain if I want to. And it kinds, they're kind of making me think that they're going for Woodhammer into that slot. So going into a Pokemon like you could be good. And then just Spiky Shield the next turn. Or again, I can always get terrain control. With Assault Vest. Not bad. I am going to get terrain control. I'm just going to take away the terrain. So we'll take away the terrain and... I might end up double swapping here. No, we'll just leave an Eye Leap on the field. No big deal. Just keep spamming Rage Fist. Let's just keep chunking up damage in the Rule Boom. Getting it lower and lower and lower. Wasting out these Trickum turns just fine. So we know they have Shadow Rider Calyx in the back end. I kind of want to save my Flutter Main. Because having Flutter Main with Icy Wind is really clutch. Plus, we still have Terra. We haven't touched our Terra yet, which is good, good for us. So let's see. This is a solid match. I always love starting the first match of the video with a solid one. Something that's going the distance. Back and forth battle. Win or lose, just a good battle all around. That's what I love. I love starting off like that. But I'm going to bring out the Hadron Run Engine ability. I'm going to take away your Grass Terrain and say, yo, that's enough of that. He's going to go for an Imprison here. So you're going to take away my Protect. You're going to take away my Protect, but not my Spiky Shield, which is good. Woodhammer's going to fly in this slot, which is totally fine. I'm able to soak. You're going to take some Recoil. My Rage Fist is getting boosted, which is huge. So I'm not allowed to Protect anymore. Kind of annoying. But Rage Fist is now KOing you. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you have a few turns left in Trick Room. Shadow Rider Calyrex is definitely not coming out here. We know that for a fact. It is definitely not coming out here. No shot. Especially in Trick Room. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. Now I got Terrain and I got get rid of Robe, which is massive. So no Terrain Control for them. Um, I do wonder who you're going to go into. I'm kind of curious. It's not Shadow Rider Calyrex. It's got to be your final Pokemon then, right? But if you do bring in Shadow Rider Calyrex, we can just attack it. It's going to be Urshifu. Urshifu is going to come through here, and this is the Dark Urshifu. No, it's Water Urshifu. The so Water Urshifu is here. Um, I can see a Terra pop out here. I could see a Terra. Hmm. I still just want to go for Electro Drift into Frigraph. Because how many turns are left in this trigger? Let's see. One. Two. Two turns left in trigger. I'm just going to go for Electro Drift into Frigraph, and I'm going to go for Rage Fist. Keep attacking that way, because what's Urshfu going to really do here? I thought maybe it would protect here. Turns out, you are the slowest on the field. Electro Drift doing massive damage. I could have actually just went after... I just went after him. And wow, we are outspeeding here? How are we outspeeding in Trick Room? You going for another Trick Room? Are you trying to cancel out Trick Room for Gra? How are we outspeeding in Trick Room? Because you're... That is weird. It looks like... Okay, that makes sense. So, Urshfu's got to be choice. Urshfu has got to be choice in this instance. Urshfu has got to be choice. So, you know what? I'm just going to swap into... In a Flutter Me here. I would think you'd be going for another close combat. I'm going to swap into you, and I'm just going to go for Rage Fist here. And just keep chunking up damage in this slot. Hmm. Yeah, that's my play. I'm going to swap my Miraiyon. So this Earth Shoot is Choice Scar. It's outspeeding us, and he cancels out Trick. So now I get to bring out my Flutterman. We're hoping they're going for another close combat, so we swap there. Frigoraph's just going to end up protecting. That's totally fine. So Friggy with the Protect. Close combat's going to fly. Big time swap from your boy. It does not affect me. And you're Choice in a close combat, which is great. You are Choice in a close combat. We know that now. I'm going to put the punchies on you, and that's a great position for us. It's a beautiful position for us because now I know your choice. You're probably going to swap into Calyrex or you're just going to stay on the field. So I'm just going to send a Rage Fist that way. And you can't touch me. I know your choice, Scarf. I figured your plan out. I figured your plan out. Rigraph is just going to go for another protect. You're a thousand percent choice. You're going for close combat yet again? Yeah, you are choice. Yeah. Yeah. We like that. We like that. Rage Fist is going to finish you off and get you off the field. I'm hoping my Annihilate can outspeed. I'm hoping my Annihilate can outspeed. I'm definitely going to try to go for a... Uh... 
I definitely want to try to go for a uh, nice one here with with my flutter mean. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna hope that Icy Wind can KO for a grab. Actually, I don't think it can KO. We're just gonna hope that they don't go for Trick Room. Really gonna hope that they don't go for Trick Room. Do I Terrasize in the dark? I mean, I could. I'm definitely gonna do that. So I'm gonna go Icy Wind. I am just gonna go for a Rage Fist in this slot. And we'll see what they wanna do here. Because my whole plan is here is to hope Frig Raph doesn't drop Trick Room. And then we just slow down Calyrex for my back and Pokemon to just come out here and clean this one up. That's my whole plan. That's my whole plan. But we're going to Terrasilize into a dark type Fluttermane here, which could be pretty solid for us. We're just trying to survive, get off an icy wind, and again, hope that Trick Room's not flying out here. Which, I mean, it could be. It definitely could be. We'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays, because honestly, this Calyrex can just sweep this game. So we'll start getting plus one boost, no problem. Helping hands coming out here. This is scary. We need Fluttermane to soak. It's our only shot at winning this game. We need Fluttermane to soak. And actually, you just outspeed. That's gorgeous. Do you just KO with this? Just sash. Again, we just need Fluttermane to soak. Only shot. Only shot at us win this game. We need Fluttermane to soak. I think you can, Fluttermane. Fluttermane, you got this all day, right? All day, Fluttermane. All day. What a first match. Come on, man. That was too easy. That was too easy. Now Fluttermane can just drop an Icy Wind, finish off Calyrex, slow him down. I mean, unless we miss. Oh, no. Okay, good. My Pokemon don't miss any clutch. They clutch. They real clutch. So Calyrex dies out to that. It was on 1 HP to do the Sash. Rigraph's gonna get the speed drop. And all we needed was the speed drop on the Calyrex, because then I just bring out Ogre Pond. My Miraidon can come out here, who's super fast. And perfect timing. The electric train ends, so now I can just bring it right back out. But that's the game. That is the game. So again, very solid first match. Swapping in and out, making good plays. Me and my opponent making good plays, but you know, the boy has to start off with the victory, right? I got you guys. But from here, Moonblast, nice little Electro Drift yet again. And they probably just canceled the match. Correct. I would believe so. I would believe so. Yep, there it is. So 1-0, oh, let's go hop into match number 2. Moving on to our second match for today's video. We'd love to grab ourselves a 2-0 record. But we're going up against a team without a restricted Pokemon. They got Shen Pao, who is top tier. Shen Pao's amazing. Hits like a truck. They got Crest. They got Sylveon. And then they're also rocking Thunderous. Tornadus, and last but not least, Ogre Pond. So, I think a solid lead for us could just be these two guys right here. I really do like both of them, alongside with Tatsugiri, because I can always Volt Switch out. I can go into Tatsugiri, get the down thing, so boost it, and kind of go from there. Now, our final Pokemon, most likely, is going to be Fluttermane here. And Fluttermane is just so good, especially with Booster Energy and Speed. Right? It's Speed, correct? Yeah. Booster Energy and Speed is just so massive. But I could also go into Hearth Flame Ogre Pond, who's pretty solid here. Or even an Nihilib's good, too. Not gonna lie, I mean, a solid lead would be, like, Don Dozo and Final Gambit and Nihilib just to pick up a KO and then get out Tatsugiri, but I actually like this. I like this. I think we're cool with this. Maybe I should have went to Choice Scarf and Nihilib in the back end, because that's always great, too. It really is. But, hey, we are sitting here. Lovely, lovely, lovely 1-0. We'll love to go 2 0, but I like the combo that we're trying. I would love to just get out my ride on Don Dozo, maybe just protect Don Dozo for the turn and then just Volt switch out, or even if we're in a good position, just straight up attack. Maybe send Electro Drift, get off some big time damage, kind of go from there. But defense today lead, it's going to be Shen Pao and Ogre Pond. So Shen Pao, Ogre Pond kind of fly out here. Um, my ride on, do you outspeed Shen Pao? That's the real question. That is the question in hand because an Ice Spinner. Ooh, we don't like an Ice Spinner. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. We do not like an Ice Spinner. We do not like an Ice Spinner. So show me you outspeed. You don't. You, you're not going to. Do I Terrestrialize into Straight Electric? What moves do you have, Dondozo? You have Rock Slide. I kind of like Rock Slide. Huh. Might just be a hard swap, boy. Into a rock slide. That could terrestrialize you into a straight electric and maybe just go after Ogre Pond. Or Shen Pao. Ice Spin and Destroy Strain. Yeah, let's just swap here. Let's just swap into Tatsu. Let's just rock slide. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. So we're just going to swap me right on here. 
Hopefully Ice Spinner's flying in that slot and we just dodge, right? Hopefully that's the play. So we're going right into the little sushi Pokemon. Commander coming out. Hopping right into the Don Dozer's mouth early on into this match. I am scared of the Horn Leech. I am terrified of the Horn Leech. But, but I think we should be fine. Because once we get rid of this uh, Shin Pao, then we could Terrasalize into Grass. I wonder if we outspeed now. kind of hoping we do. I'm going to see a Terra pop out here from Shin Pao. Shin Pao's going to get the Terra. Problem. And what type of you're going to You're going into Stellar. He's ready to go. He's ready to rock. Stellar Terra type. Show me you're going for Ice Spinner into Tatsugiri slot. We like that a lot. And you're Spiky Shield here. I don't mind that one bit. I don't mind that one bit. Now, Dantezo, are you outspeeding Shen Pao? You are not. But Ice Spinner Crash is fine in that slot. Cute. Cool. You just wasted a stellar move. Rock Slide's gonna get blocked. And can we land it onto the Shen Pao, please and thank you? Thank you very much. Beautiful. Down the Sash. Alright, now I'm gonna make a hard read that you are not going for an Ice Move, right? There's just no shot you're going for an ice move. So I'm going to Terrasalize now into Grass because I don't feel like taking big time damage to Horn Leech. And I'm just going to throw a Rock Slide. That's my play all day. So we're just in this dude's head. Smart play for us to actually choose to swap the Tatsugiri instead of going into a Volt Switch. Because I was thinking of just Terrasalizing into Electric and then going for Volt Switch Pivot. But in that case, we would have lost Terrain. And actually, I mean, I don't, I don't really mind losing Terrain. But I would have taken some damage from my boy. Especially a Stellar Terror Ice Over Crash. Yeah, we, we don't like that. It's just a good swap from us. So now we are going to Terrasalize. We're going to say, hey, that Shen Pao is not going into an Ice Move. And we're going to read that, uh... That, what's it called? That Ogre Pond's going for a whole nature. I like it. I'm down for it. And Shen Pao is just going to protect. Okay, actually, that I, I wasn't... I wasn't... I don't like that. I don't like that. There's the Horn Leech. And we take, like, negative damage to that. And Rock Slide is going to connect it. Now, the problem here is, actually, it's actually kind of good because Ice of Crash is still going to do big time damage, but I believe, oh wow, that damage on the Ogre Pond is massive, but I believe that Ice of Crash doesn't get the Stellar Boost anymore because he already wasted it, right? He missed with the attack. But now I'm just going to go for another Rock Slide. I mean, we should need to soak up an Ice of Crash, but they end up canceling battle, so a quick second match, Don Dozo and this Miradon squad getting it done. Moving on to our final match, and we got ourselves a true test. A nice Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room Team. I'm telling you guys, Ice Rider Calyrex is going to be phenomenal in Regulation G. Just top tier, especially within the Trick Room. But who should we lead here, and how should we get after it? I feel like going into Fluttermane could be good, because we can always try to taunt the Trick Room user, which would be awesome. So it's either Indeedy or Calyrex, two Pokemon that could pop the Trick Room. We'll try to get after it that way. So I'm going to do that, and I am also going to go into... Not me ride on here, because they're just going to take Electric Terrain. I think I am going to go into a final Gambit user. Yeah, I actually really like that because I can always final Gambit and the other Pokemon I can just taunt. And then we'll bring me right on in the back end alongside with Heart Flame Ogre Pond. So looking to get after it here, I actually really like our lead. If they lead Calyrex and Indeedee, we're going to taunt one with Fluttermane. And then the other one, we are just going to final Gambit look to just KO. I like that. So trying for no Trick Room here. We cannot, we simply cannot allow Trick Room. It's just not allowed. It's just not allowed. So we'll see who they want to end up leading here. It's probably going to be Indeedy and somebody else. I mean, follow me could be scary. Yeah, there's that. So there's that. So I'm actually just going to final game with the Indeedy. Look to KO it. And then just taunt the Calyrex. That's definitely your best bet. That's definitely your best bet. Because if they go in to follow me, then that could be annoying. And we know our Annihilate outspeeds our Fluttermane. Actually, does it outspeed Fluttermane? I'm actually not sure. I'm actually not sure. And I kind of need it to. Can I do any type of calculations here? I'm actually not sure. I'm going to go for the taunt here. Taunt and final gambit. Can you please outspeed? Annihilate. Annihilate. I need you outspeed here. This, this works perfectly if you outspeed. Uh, works perfectly if you outspeed. You do not. You do not. So it does not work perfectly. We are, we are screwed. I loved our lead too. I just didn't think about the speed calculations, especially with boost energy. It would have worked so perfectly. It would have worked so perfectly. It would have been so perfect. It would have been more than perfect. More than perfect. Because then you would have been taunted. You lucky. You're lucky to speed into workout. You lucky little horse. You lucky little horse. Alright, so from here, we're going to bring out you. Alright, I... 
trying to figure out what I should do here. Moonga's gonna fly through here. You can put me to sleep. Which is gonna be annoying. You probably are gonna put me to sleep. Let's be honest here. Oh, man. Tough news. Bad day to be jeans, right? Real bad day to be jeans. I mean, I have to try to taunt you. I'm just swapping to Ogrepan here. No, 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 no. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. We want to taunt you. Taunt Amoongus. And we want to go in the Ogre Pond. That's what I want to do. The Sleep Powder, I think, flies into the Miraidon slot. And then you're just going to go for a Glacial Lance here, which hopefully both my Pokemon could soak. And in that case, you could be taunted, and then we could just kind of just like Spook Shield kind of protect. Just try to waste out these turns. No, you're just going for Rage Powder, so at least we're taunting here. I could have just attacked. Could just pop an overheat if I want to. Glacial Lance gonna fly here. No boost here. Does it KO? It does not. Pretty solid. We do taunt you now. But now he's forced to attack. How many turns are left in this trick room? Three? Hmm. Wow, Lord, I hate this game. Don't like it one bit. I think our best bet is to just spam protect, right? Because <laughs> if not, Glacial Lance just KOs us. He ends up just withdrawing. Yeah, this one's pretty much over, guys. It's pretty much over. They got Ursula in here too. Unless we land double protects. And in that case, it's not even gonna help us. Well we yeah, we need to land a double protect on one of these Pokemon. So double protect flies, and at that point I still don't see us win this game because we cannot take out this Ursaluna. And he can just drop an earth power into the slot. And at that point, Ice Cut Ice Rider Calyx can just reset trick him. So we had a smart play in our head. It's just not working out. It's just not working out. So we're just gonna spam protect. Imagine we, lay, we we land triple protects on both our Pokemon. That'd be wild. That would be wild. That would be absurd. But this is this is what I was talking about, guys, with Ice Rider Calyx. Just absolutely amazing. Just insane. It really is. You're going to be seeing it all across the meta. So I go for Spike Shield. I land it. Hold up. Do I land another protect? Give it to me. Oh, man, Fluttermane. You're better than that. You're so much better than that. There's the Glacial Lance. So now this thing's sitting plus... Oh, man. Yeah, that's tough news. I can't protect my, uh... I can't protect my Miraidon. And Miraidon pretty much just dies out to this stuff. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. So there's one turn left in Trick Room now. Chilly Nade's gonna boost up. And you're going for a Hyper Voice. Yeah, wrap it up here. Wrap it up. Game, set, match. Miraidon can come out here. You have Assault Vest, which isn't bad up against Ursaluna, but... Calyrex being plus one. Yeah, we don't like this one bit. And honestly, best bet would be Terrasilize. I don't want to overheat just yet. Actually, I, I feel like I have to. I can't really use Electro Moves unless I go Electro Drift here. And I guess we'll try to go for another Spiky Shield. <laughs> Three Spiky Shields in a row. Oh, you're going to withdraw Ursaluna. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can you land a Spiky Shield? If you land a Spiky Shield, we have a shot at winning this. A triple Spiky Shield? Yo, triple spiky shield would be insane. Triple spikes would be insane. But now we can rage powder again if he wants to. So Trick Room's gonna end up just gonna rage powder, kinda just get rid of this. Unless I get off a spiky shield. Unless we land a triple spiky shield. That'd be absurd. Go ahead, land a triple spiky shield. Coward. You coward, Ogrepan. It's gonna fail. Glacial Land's gonna finish him off. Um, is he gonna finish off Miraidon? It does not. We survive. Now, the real question is, can we KO you with Electro Drift? I don't think we can. You're pretty bulky. We do have our Terror type out here. Let's see how this one plays. Electro Drift. Coming in hot. Does not KO. Wow, if that would have KO'd, we could have maybe had a shot. But at that point, it probably would have just been Rage Powder. Yeah, it would have been Rage Powder, Ursaluna, just KOing us. So, yeah, it would have been game regardless. It would have been game regardless. But I just realized that I didn't need to swap my Ogre Pond that first turn. I just realized that because I always forget about Electric Terrain. And if you guys don't know, Electric Terrain, Pokemon can't go to sleep. Or Pokemon on the ground won't fall asleep. Now, is he technically on the ground? I, I feel like he is, right? I mean, he's floating, he's levitating, but he's on the ground technically. But yeah, I didn't even need to swap my Miran. I probably should just attack and realize that. But hey, that's going to be game. Yeah, it's going to be game. I'm just going to run this one. Showcase this team rather well. Go 2-1 for today's video.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said in today's video or at the beginning of today's video, this team is definitely useful for rank and is very capable of pushing high ranks in Regulation G. Absolutely love this team. You had Pokemon such as Miraidon. Obviously, our restricted Pokemon doing big time damage. Furthermore, you have that Thandos or Tatsugiri combo, which we showcased in match number two. Flutter main, always good. Then you have Annihilate and Ogre Pond. Two very good Pokemon, one on the Defiant side, so you don't really have to worry about Intimidates. But obviously, I forgot about the Electric Train, considering Electric Train has not really been used in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But always remember, when you have Miraidon on, on the field and Electric Train, your Pokemon that are on the ground won't go to sleep. So that's also a big plus from Miraidon. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.